Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a get ready with me to go to a L'Oreal Diwali dinner. Initially, I didn't think it was a big deal. I mean, I thought it was just a normal PR event that I always go to. It could still turn out to be a normal PR event, but um, this was L'Oreal paying for our taxis. They had a proper theme. They told us exactly what we can wear. Um, so it's like ivory, golds, creams, and um, it has to be a lenga, a sari, kurti, or an evening dress. And then they had like an attire for the men as well. You know, dietary restrictions, the whole, the whole shebang. So then I thought, okay, this is a little bit bigger than anything I've been to before. I go to those quick ones, but this clearly is like a really big one and it's L'Oreal. So I thought I need to sort myself out like big time. So my friend <laughs> Divya from Bridal Trunk, she sorted me out. I was like, I need an outfit and like look how stunning this is, right? So it's like a pre-made sari, but it has more of like a lenga skirt. So it's kind of like a two in one, uh, went in yesterday, popped in yesterday to try this on. It fitted me like a glove. And then naturally I would have worn emerald green with it because she was like, oh my God, should we do emerald green? And I was like, yeah, but because they're very, they were very specific with the colors. I don't want to then, you know, do the emerald. So we did this instead. Um, it is more of a yellow stone, but I think when you wear it, it could potentially look gold. So I thought this would probably work. I'm gonna have to, I, I might not do the necklace. I might feel like it's a bit much and just do the earrings because the earrings alone are like so pretty as well. So just, just this, maybe, but let's see. So I already went and actually got a professional blow dry done. So I like my hair to have these soft, bouncy waves. I don't actually like my hair looking curly um, and also I didn't want my hair to be frizzy so I did go in for a blow dry. I'm just going to pin all of this away. I kind of, honestly I've never worn anything that bling so that, that sari blouse thing has a lot of pearls and a lot of work and obviously if I'm doing that jewellery as well I thought you know what, I want my hair and makeup to look very simple and classy so it's more the outfit, nothing else. Of course I'm going to do eye masks because um, I just love them. I use them on every single bride of mine and I use them on myself. I've already done my skincare, SPF. I'm just gonna use this. And then what you do is just open it up and you take the brush side and you press into the skin and you just comb it up in the direction you want. While the eyebrows are setting, I'm gonna start with the eye makeup. So I'm using warm beige, just basically the Born This Way Too Faced from Too Faced as my primer. Currently obsessed with this little mini palette. It's called I Need a Nude Palette, but it's the mini one. So I'm gonna use the shimmery color with my finger straight onto the eyelid and I'm going to swipe it on so it really sits on that wetness of the concealer. Because this is an evening event and I feel like shimmers work best with evening events only because of all that dim lighting it just really gets your eyes to sparkle without it looking tacky and then i'm gonna get the nudish lighter color so if you have a darker skin complexion i would probably use the darker color as your crease color and then if you have a black or a very dark brown eyeshadow oops um you can then use that as your contour color if you need it okay i'm gonna now take some of that dark color and just sort of apply it towards the end. If you can see, it's not very strong and I don't want it to be very strong. I'm gonna continue with the rest of the makeup. As you guys know, I like my face bond. This is my current favorite foundation. It's the perfect color for me. So I'm gonna use this with So I got this brush from a PR, um, I think it's IT Cosmetics, it is number 7, it's called an all over brush, I'm getting my golden beige, you can take any bright concealer just to highlight and I just like to use this 
to highlight my nose but also add a little bit on the inside to brighten it up so i'm going to let this sit while i take my mario stick i love this okay now these are just meant for contouring but i'm using the concealer brush now to press this all in to give a lot of coverage now i'm going to take a beauty blender and just sort of blend it all out unfortunately this color is discontinued um it's called luster it's like a peachy sort of color so now that i've done all the creamy products i'm just going to start baking <laughs> setting so i'm going to take a pressed translucent powder first now i'm going to bake a little so i'm going to get my givenchy number two so i'm going to get a generous amount and i'm going to bake don't bake it for too long only because I do have lines under my eyes, so I don't want this to look too dry and cracked. Love this palette. You know that I've used this like a million times. Um, so I'm going to use that to sort of set my contour. So remember, I did something a bit peachy on the eye, um, on the face, sorry, the blush. Now, my eyes, however, are more of like a cool, like an in-between. So I'm using this color Rosewood from Dior. I love this color and I'm just going to set my blush so it gives me a similar color to the color that I have um, on my eyes. So it's like a mix. So it's like an in-between. Eyeliner. I absolutely am obsessed with this currently. I personally always start from the inside on myself. Ta-da! I've already put glue onto my lashes, mascara, so this is the NARS Climax. I love this pencil, it's a Kajol liner from Victoria Beckham. It's like a, like an olivey green. I know it seems so random, like why am I using this with this color combination, but it's not a very strong color. Can you see? And I'm just using it sort of like more on the outer corner. Mascara. I love this one. So when I don't wear false lashes, I use this mascara on top as well. It's from Estee Lauder. It's the Double Wear Zero Smudge. Oh my god, I keep getting mascara on my hair going to use this Mario Master Crystal Reflector. Now this, I don't know if you can see it, is going to really help with picking up all the pearls and the brighter colors. Ooh, do you see this? Listen, let's do a bit of highlight, shall we? Now I can continue with my brows. Lipstick. This has been my go-to. I feel like I wear this in everything now. So it's from YSL. It's the Prisme Libre. Oh gosh. Candy Glace. Okay. In number 15. I'm using the Sweet Tea by Morph. Shall we get my outfit on? Okay, got the outfit on. It's got, I don't know if you can see it, it's got all these ruffles at the bottom. Got my heels on. Um, it is stunning! The blouse is just a tiny, tiny, weeny bit um, loose, but, you know, not complaining. This still looks so good. And it's something different. I've never worn anything like this. Now, jewelry. Hundred percent, yes. I think it needs it. Ta-da! Got the jewelry on. I'm quite happy. I'm gonna leave it at that. Um, if you guys enjoyed this, do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, of course. And if you like these kind of getting ready with me's for events, do let me know. Until next time.